Let's start a meditation. The librarians are going to, they're sort of speaking through me. I don't think my voice will get funny with them, but they're integrating with me. Everyone, please relax. Excuse me, should we bring you back at any one time? No, I'll stay awake, but thank you. Thank you. Invite your body and your heart, your mind to relax. If you find any areas of tension in your being, acknowledge it and give it permission to relax for the next little period of time. Enjoy the experience to come. Invite your root chakra and the bottoms of your feet to relax and feel very open so that whatever is in your body is able to just flow down through your body, through your legs, through your feet to earth. And invite the top of your head to relax. You may find it feeling a little light and airy. If you feel any pressure or pain, acknowledge it with gratitude and give it permission to resolve and release itself. There's no need for discomfort at this moment. Invite your crown chakra to open wide or tall, whatever is comfortable, so that all of the beautiful divine love is welcome to flow in from the cosmic forces, dimensions, universes. Come in through the light and airy top of your head and fill your body. You may find some just emanating off of your body. Flow through your body, through your feet, deep into earth. I'd like you to imagine that you are in a beautiful forest, any kind of forest that you would like. It can be tropical, it can be pine trees, warm weather, frozen weather. We're in a forest. There's a path before you. It may be a natural path or an animal path or just your path. You're standing on the path, looking to your trees. If you look up in the branches of the trees, you may find some nests and burrows. As you look around on the ground, you may see leaves, stones and moss. Walk along your path, admiring, enjoying the trees, animals, the ground.
as you walk deeper into the forest. You notice how healthy the trees are and how because they are growing naturally, there is enough space around each tree. Trees naturally give each other space, support each other to grow in harmony with the forest collective. and share ground energy for plants, flowers, herbs, moss. And ahead, your path you see leads you to one specific tree. It's a tree, the tree that has called you to this forest. It may be in a harmony similar to the rest of the trees or it may be unique. You can feel this tree's song, this tree's frequency calling to you, inviting you. As you walk forward, you can feel the energy of this beautiful, wise tree. You come close to it. You can reach your hand and touch the bark under your fingertips. You look up and see the sunlight dappling the leaves from above and the ground shade showing the leaves darker from below. As your hands touch, examine this tree The tree invites you, join me. And the tree itself opens up with just the perfect, comfortable space for you to climb in, climb into the center of this tree. Surprisingly warm in this tree. You can feel the life force welcoming you as you find yourself integrating the tree. The tree closes around you as you become one with the tree. It is very kind and supportive. You find yourself flowing with the tree. You can feel the sap flowing up and flowing down through the different fibers of the tree that run all the way from the roots to the branch tips. And you can feel the rings going from the core of the tree where it was once a callow youth on out to the wide exterior and each ring has the lessons of an entire year a season of life documented recorded and the sap flowing up from the roots bringing all that beautiful mineral rich energy and liquid on up to feed the top branches. And in return, the branches send down sap that has been brought in from the rain and the humidity 
absorbed in through the, the spongy leaves and the branches and returns down through fibers, down to the roots. A full feast. The tree invites you to flow up, flow up with the sap, flow on up higher through this tree. You feel very safe, experiencing the lifeblood of Earth, the suckling of Mother Earth's breast with all of this sap coming up from the roots, flowing through the side fibers, on up to the canopy of life that is so warm from the sunlight, so oxygen rich. It's a stark contrast from the thick root sap on up to this thin, oxygenated, fast flowing leaf and canopy sap. You can feel the leaves absorbing in heat. Breathing with the planet. Breathing in CO2, breathing out O2. Breathing with the forest. All the trees breathing in harmony, setting the rhythm, the beat for the forest. Then the tree invites you to gently flow back down to this beautiful light, rain and humidity fed sap flowing back down through fibers, on back down through the tree. Sweet dessert following the mineral and soil sap that flowed up. And down through all the passages of time, the rings, the history lessons available for you to see and experience. Flowing down back through where you entered at the base of the tree and down, down to the bottom of the tree where there's additional life with all the little animals, small burrowing mammals, to the roots that extend deep and wide and are eating, constantly eating the sap of the earth, the moisture to feed the tree with the worms flowing around the roots to keep the soil very light and aerated so that more moisture, more moisture may come, away, come up. And the small burrowing mammals the moles, chipmunks, whatnot, digging little tunnels and caves that provide wonderful access for your roots to go and flow and for groundwater to flow up and meet your roots. The soil is fertile here for all the animals of nature value the gifts that your tree gives to this immediate area. And in return, they create a hospitable ground environment for this tree to be fully nourished and again return and provide back for all the animals in the forest. You see some roots go deep, deep down and others go wide and spread out. You can see the, 
the strong, potent sap that comes into the roots from the dark, rich soil and the minerals all around. And you can see some of the roots grow and wrap around stones and rocks, which helps keep the tree anchored. It also helps for the tree and the rock to whisper secrets to each other. Old private conversations of earth beneath ground and earth above in the air. And your tree invites you to flow down, down to the furthest reaches of even the roots that are just like little hairs of roots, where there's fungus flowing all around to help nourish the soil. And you find rocks, stones, all around. Explore the rocks that gravitate to your tree, the stones. And you can see how some are more porous, so they allow their mineral to leach into the soil so that your tree may absorb it. And some are hard. They're dependable. They're there to help your rock have a security. Others are crumbling, coming soil, even as we watch. Crystals are sending energy all around their amplifiers. You see how these stones support the tree. How the stones and the tree are family. The tree that has shared its beautiful space with you feels your frequency, your resonance, and gives to you placing in your hand a stone that is for you. You may look at the stone The tree has gifted it to you to bring, take with you. As the tree rises you back up, up, up past the fungus, past the soil, past the animals sharing their farewell to you as you rise up through the roots, through to the base of the tree that opens and releases you. with gracious gratitude to you for having shared this time together. And as you step forward out of your tree, again being one with yourself, you look back to the tree, which has reformed itself. If you'd like, you may again touch your tree, Hug your tree, this tree that you were just 
meshed with. You are now outside of. As you look to the ground, the dirt, the ground coverings and any fallen leaves, the rocks, you look up along all of the beautiful exterior of this tree. The tree gives you a last wish, a gift of gratitude and a wish for your well-being, your joyous well-being, and sends to you a connection frequency of love, tree love as a gift for you. You are connected with this tree, with this forest. You may return here anytime you wish. For you are bonded. It is now time to return to your path. Return walking along your path towards the edge of the forest, you may look back on occasion at your tree and you can see your tree will always be there welcoming for you. You may look at the stone in your hand. Walk back to the edge of this magnificent forest. From there, return to your body, return to yourself. Return to this time and this place. Welcome back, everyone. Give yourself a moment to recalibrate, reintegrate with your physical being. Welcome back. anyone has anything to share, I would love to hear it. Or any questions. So this journey to a sacred forest is one that you will find with basically every indigenous community around the world or comparable. Many cultures believe that each person has a tree and an earth element a stone that is the power tree and the power stone for us. This is something to think about, the tree that appeared for you. It's one that I encourage you to do a little research about the 
the meaning of that tree, the spiritual meaning of the tree and of the stone. Question, yes, Kitty. Um, when I started, I hear an echo. Do you all hear an echo? Okay, okay, fine. No, but you're kind of quiet. Okay. Um, is that better? We can hear you. <laughs> okay. How about that? <laughs> okay. Um, when I started trying to talk to trees this week, because I've done it in the past, um, and rocks, it didn't make any connection. I didn't get any answers. And today, I finally was able to connect to what I call my, my home oak, my house oak. It's in front of the house and closest to the house in my yard. And I've communicated with the oak before, this oak. So um, so I had a conversation with the oak. But when I was trying to talk with other trees, one of the ways I tried to do that was I was in a walk in the woods. And um, in a park and I wasn't getting any response at all. There was one small response from a, a fairly small tree that said, go away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do not want to communicate. So I said, okay. And um, I stopped trying to communicate with the tree. But while I was walking through the woods, I was constantly getting these questions that I decided I would ask my home trees, um, like, do the trees here resent the people walking through here? Do they wish they would go away? Um, how do the trees feel when one of them dies, when one of them falls over? Does it die right away or does it wait? So um, I look forward to further conversations to get answers on this with the trees. But I wanted to ask you about getting answers and the best way to address the trees. If they're trees, I don't know. The librarians are saying when you approach trees, you know, have the same respect as when you approach a group of people you don't know. Also, if you bring your agenda to them, then you're insisting that they connect with you on a level that is of your choosing, not of respect and appreciation for their nature. Well, librarians are saying, why don't you try filling yourself with love and flow love to them as a gift? Don't hand it to them, but just offer the frequency of love to flow through as a gift for any who would wish. Because everyone is more likely to want to be your friend if you feed them and give them gifts and um, compliment them. It's such a beautiful forest. Oh, my word. Thank you for, for all the, the kindness that you give to us. I want to tell you, my heart opens so much when I walk through here. I am so grateful to you. It said, try that for a while and um, sing to them. They're saying, sing to the trees. Mm, okay. It's bring them good energy and you'll find that they'll open up a little more, but always be very, very respectful. Okay. All right. Yeah. Great. Thank you so much. <laughs>
Yeah. They're saying some forests are a little bit like a feral animal that's been kicked around and then left on their own and they're hungry. So they're not going to be sociable right away. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Well, that's them. Thank you, librarian. Mm -hmm. Well, next week, Okay, the librarians are saying they want me to bring a guest and they'll talk with the guest and answer your questions. So um, I'll bring someone who has expertise on trees and you know, someone possibly shamanic if I can and the librarians will talk with them and both of them, the librarians and our guests will answer any questions that you have. Well, thank you all so much. Thank you. Feel welcome to reach out to me if you have any questions about this or, you know. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. Thank you, everybody. Yep. Bye, everyone. Good night. Good night.